Welcome to another edition of the Delaware Valley Original Music Showcase. Tonight we continue our mission of helping to support original music in the Delaware Valley with our three-step process. Listen, experience, and pass on original music in the Delaware Valley. But we need your help to get the word out. So let's get started. Tonight's band's been playing original music for the past four years and their experience in the cover scene has given them an insight into how to play music that makes them one of the acts to follow in the Delaware Valley. So let's meet Pieces of Reason here on the Delaware Valley Original Music Showcase. <laughs> Addictions are fun, but not for love. Time for the truth. Realize that I despise you. Why am I? difficult times it's nice to know there are places that are trying to bring you some normalcy and still look out for your health the blue crab grill is one of those places and you can enjoy a social distance dining experience or just get curbside pickup all you have to do is call 302-737-1100 for a reservation or to place an order or bluecrabgrill.com and make your reservation and remember we're all in this together so now you got a taste of their music, let's find out more about them in the interview.
some pieces of reason and uh, got together with a few of the guys that we used to play in a cover band together. And, uh, you know, we decided that, you know, the cover stuff wasn't really piquing our interest as much as it used to because we're getting a little bit older now. And, you know, we just decided to write a couple of songs. And as we wrote a couple of songs, we wrote a couple more. And we were able to find a drummer to come in. And uh, he got himself on board. And we wound up making an album and doing the, the whole, you know, studio experience, which was, uh, you know, it's a lot of work. And it's a lot of fun, you know, but it gets to be a little crazy sometimes. And, you know, it's, but it was worth it in the end. You know, this time around with the COVID, so, you know, we're, we're our net, the next album's being all done pretty much remotely. Everything's been recorded. It just has to be mixed and mastered and everything else. We don't have a full length album, but we have enough to put something out for everyone to listen to. Uh, we've been together, we've been doing this for, with the original stuff probably about three years now. Maybe four, you know, time flies. You know, you know I think, you know, we got the first album done. You know, we were rolling along and, you know, playing shows and writing new music at the same time. You know, like everybody else, the, the pause button got hit. I personally just, you know, I got guitar lessons because I just like music and I, just, I have a whole slew of different influences and whatnot. And I guess, you know, when you're in high school and a few of your friends play different instruments and you find the right people, you know, you play here and there. And the next thing you know, you know somebody else, you know somebody else, you know somebody else. And, you know, then it became, hey, you know, how about we try this, you know, try this at a bar you know but you, you know a lot of work a lot of hard work has to go into that you know so i appreciate any life personally you know none of it's easy i don't care what kind of you know what kind of stuff you're trying to do if you're trying to do it if you're playing a live show you know my hat's off to you <laughs> Actually, you know, it's a couple pulled. Actually, one of the songs I wrote a line that was pieces, pieces of reason fall asleep, and that basically just has to do with you know when you're trying to do something, you tell yourself you're going to do it, and then when that doesn't seem to work out, you, know, you try to reason with yourself, and as the pieces of reason fall asleep, you make bad decisions, you know. And uh, the other part of it, when we actually came up with the name of it after I wrote the line, uh, a couple of us in the band deal with autism in one way, shape, or form. And if, you know, if anybody can relate to that, you're always asking, you know, what are the, you try to find pieces of reasons why those autistic children do that. <laughs> so it's, you know, you know so there's, there's many de different definitions of pieces of reason. Yeah. I, uh, I do lead vocals and rhythm guitar, and Pat Rooney plays the lead guitar and does the harmonies, and Dust Shoulders, and he plays the bass, and John Bowers, he plays the drums. And he said his nickname's Animal because when he's back there and you're seeing him playing, he actually really literally looks like Animal when he's playing. So it's it's kind of interesting. Practice, you know, rehearsals are, are uh, they're interesting to say the least sometimes. <laughs> you know, that's a good question. It really is because we've contemplated that very question many times and if you do listen to our album 
you know, we've had a few reviews of it that were, you know, and they they also have said that there's the good thing about that they liked was that none of it sounds the same. And, uh, you know, when, when we come up with new songs or ideas, it's, it's not anything that comes, okay, we're going to try to sound like this or that or, or anything like that. It's, okay, what, it, what, what is coming out by listening to what you are doing, what you're doing, and how, where do you want to go from here type of deal? I mean, we're, we're, we're a rock band, if you want to call it a rock band, but we're bass centric. And I write most of the lyrics to the bass lines. I don't actually write the lyrics to the guitar or, or drums. I usually just use the bass and, and uh, write the lyrics to that. And uh, we mesh everything together from there. The one that gets promoted the most is a song called Bipolar. Um, everybody seems to like it. It's gotten radio airplay for us. You know, people have just picked it up for some reason. You know, and it's you know, it's it, it's nice when you write a song. And, you know, the next thing you know, you're getting notifications saying you know, a radio station up in New York just played your song and things of that nature. And I mean, that's pretty cool. You know. I, you know, I just hope people like what we do and what I write and stories and stuff like that. On well, the song Bipolar, that was, you know, that's basically just about, you know, playing music to, you know, and some people like your music, some people don't. You know, it's, it's a hard thing to do. And, and people want you to do certain things and you get, you know, people will kind of want you to be, like you said, you know, what kind of music would you say that you are? And I would say that I'm not any type of music. I write whatever I'm writing. And I pen words and I make stories to fit those. And, you know, basically, you know, bipolar was, you know, you, you can't blame me for what I do or what I write, you know, when it comes to music. And I'm not going to apologize for anything that I write because, it, you know, it's expression. And uh, I'm not going to, you know, some people don't like when you want to make a song, you know, well, it should be a certain way. And, you, know, you, you should do this or that or the other thing. They will now, you know whatever comes out is what comes out you know, some of the best stuff happens by accident you know and, and a lot of a lot of our album when we were rehearsing and coming up with a song some of the best stuff that happened was through accidents you know through rehearsing like wow oh you messed that up but that sounds way better than what we had so let's roll with that you know so you know I, you know as for you know what makes an album you know, it's a, you know, it's a comp compilation of whatever is, you know, what we made, you know, when we made this album, you know, we had, you know, 12 or 13 songs and we put, I don't, know, I don't even remember, nine or 10 of them on there and, uh, you know, we were just, okay, let's, you know, let's, let's put what, what's, what we recorded, if it sounds good, then, you know, let's just let people hear it. Um, some of the songs are personal, um, some of them are stories, uh, there's a song called Waiting, that's actually, you know, about domestic abuse, and uh, a few of my girlfriends that are, uh, that were in bad relationships, I kind of wrote the, the words to that around their stories about how they were trapped in their relationships and they were just waiting for something to happen and they were waiting to get out and they were kind of stuck where they were luckily they, they're not there anymore you know they moved on to greener pasture but there's a lot of people out there women that 
they can't, they're, they're still stuck where they are and they can't get out. Yeah, with the, the basis he comes up with, with ideas a lot of the times and he'll give me something and he'll say, okay, you know, this is what I, you know, see what we can do with this. Um, the one that I, that I just finished, the, we actually played it before live. He actually wrote it while my daughter was out having open heart surgery. When I came back, he said, I have something I really want you to write your experience to. And uh, that's, you know, worked on it for about nine months, <laughs> you know, because it meant something to him. So, you know, kind of meant something to me, obviously, too. And I wrote about that experience, and I'm hoping that's going to be on the new album. And I'm hoping that when people hear that, they can, uh, they can relate to how I felt at the time. <laughs> I've actually had that conversation, yeah, you know, we're more, you know, it's more of like, all right, how, how long can, you know, how long can you play live for before, you know, you don't want to play anymore, you, you know, if you don't, if you don't stay physically fit, you're not playing live very, you know, for very long, so, you know, so we're, we're generally fit guys, so, it, as we, we don't, put a timetable on it. I really think that, you know, since we've gotten into this in a short period of time, which has only been a few years, but we're writing our own stuff, me personally, I've found something that, you know, people look for a hobby they really enjoy and love doing. And writing songs has been something that I never thought that in a million years, even though, you know, I used to sing cover songs, never thought in a million years that I'd rather you know, listen and write original music and stuff that's in my noggin and uh, enjoy that way more than any cover song that I could sing. I've stories that you all been told One side would be a cheese swallowed whole I can't deal with your hypocrisy My friends, you won't get no apology I wish I would have given it a try earlier you know, I thought that nobody, you know, I didn't think that I could do it. And, you know, I could just sing somebody else's songs, you know, writing about things and writing things in poet, you know, kind of in poems and things of that nature. That's not me. You know, what, I told a guy, one, a guy one time who really inspired me to become a musician, you know, he said to me, I said, nobody wants to hear what I have to say. And he looked at me and said, yeah, they would. And this was years ago before we even thought about the others. And to this day, I admit it, I was wrong. Here is Pieces of Reason, here on the Delaware Valley Original Music Showcase.